Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Modsville USA, back with another video. And today, we are going to be installing this um, USB-C kit into a new 2DS XL. This was sent in by a customer. Figure I might as well make a video. This comes from the Guild Tessa shop. And there is a bunch of different USB-C mods here. Uh, but we're just going to be going over this one. And allegedly it is compatible with both the uh, new 2DS XL and the, um, uh, the original. So here's the documentation. And most of this really just covers the original 2DS as far as pictures and whatnot. But should be the same. Uh, we just need to, you know, use our brains to tear it down and on our own accord here. So, yeah, let us, uh, let us get into it. Roll the intro. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a minute since I've taken apart a 2DS XL. So we're pulling out the SD card, and we've got... 1, 2, 3, 4. Tri-wing screws, so let's take care of that. Okay, back panel is off. Uh, kind of an annoying back panel to take off. You want like a series of like three guitar picks to pry it off. And you want to be careful because we've got a speaker, speaker, and this flex cable here. Um, otherwise, pretty straightforward. Now we're going to need to take this main board out um, in order to get to this guy here. We're replacing him. So what I recommend doing, well one, close these ZIF connectors so they don't get snapped off. And two, always take a picture. Take pictures when you tear things down just to help you uh, put it back together so you know where everything goes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and proceed to get this down to the main board. All right, she's all torn down to the main board. Um, for a 3DS, that's, it's a pretty simple one. A lot of connectors, a lot of things to be careful of, but, uh, yeah, it could be worse. All the same screw type, except for the joystick. Very good. So we want to get rid of this guy here. This is the original charging port. We want to pull that off. Now it is through hole. We got this guy right here. Now, preferably, I think I'm going to see what I can do with my um, desoldering gun on this guy. Just because, you know, there's a lot of things we'd want to insulate. If we're going to hit it with heat, it's right next to this plastic connector. Uh, there's a lot of components we don't want to get melted, so I'm going to put in a bit extra time, use the desoldering gun, and uh, pull this guy off. Huge thank you to today's sponsor, PCBWay. If you're in the market for some PCB manufacturing, CNC machining, 3D printing, or even PCB design, PCBWay has you covered. If you're looking for a fun soldering project, check out the shared projects section. There's a ton of amazing DIY projects to pick from. Just pick a project, click Add to Cart, good to go. Click the link below to check out PCBWay. It helps the channel and it's greatly appreciated. Now let's get back to the show.
easy peasy. Now that is not too bad to do with a uh, wick at all. Just a bit of flux, some nice good old fashioned goot wick. She comes right out. All right, so we've got the board here. And according to the documentation, we're going to pre-tin the side ones if we're on the original 2DS, the middle one if we're on the new 2DX, 2DS XL. Jesus Christ. The Nintendo naming for the 3DS line is pretty scuffed. Okay, pretend. Okay, so we're going to align it like so. We want it to be flush with the board or with the edge of the board, so. Something like that looks pretty good. And if it isn't perfect, we can come in here with our iron, heat it up, and adjust it. So, this tip should be fine. Okay, well it's in, and I'm going to check it out, do some adjustments if needed, solder the other connections, and then last, come back in here and tin this up a bit more just to make it more secure. We don't want to do that now just because it'll start moving around, so uh, let's check it out. Okay, I adjusted it a little bit. Now that is, I felt it um, with a um, with my exacto knife to just feel the edge there. Get it as flush as possible. It's on there pretty good. I think I can dial it in just a little bit better. Then as you can see, we've got the four pads here. Okay. Kind of want to shift that left side up just a little bit. But otherwise looking pretty damn nice. So let's carry on. Okay, I'm feeling good about it, so we are going to flux it up. Come in here, I've switched to my J-tip. Something a little finer. So we don't have too much wiggle room here with the uh, with the pads up top Okay, now we'll go ahead and tin this guy a little bit better here. Nice. And 
And that is it for the soldering now. What I'm going to do is grab my multimeter, put it in continuity mode, and we're going to test these pins. I'm not going to be able to get it on camera, uh, but I would like to probe this guy here and test it with a pad on the bottom as well as this guy here same thing just make sure um, there's a proper connection before we proceed and one last thing before reassembling meter still in diode mode and check these pins here this is your power and your ground if these are short if you're getting a beep uh, you got a problem so yeah don't short power to ground just make sure that's good to go we're good to go so uh, let us carry on and just real quick too um, I went ahead and fluxed it up and just uh, dragged it in drag soldered it made sure the joints are nice and solid especially because we don't really have the visual uh, cues here because it's such a tight um, such, it's just so tight <laughs> um, but yeah refloat it it's looking real sexy I feel good about it everything's testing good and then in diode mode too uh, you should get you should get a number between these two on your meter if it's connected so Hey, uh, don't forget to check out ModsvilleUSA.com. I have plenty of chips and tools for your retro modding needs, and there are plenty of new doodads coming in very soon. If you're not comfortable with soldering, I offer a variety of send-in services. Just click the send-in tab, let me know what you want done, and I'll get back to you with a quote as soon as possible. Now, one thing this could use, some kind of, you know, 3D uh, printed bezel fill the fill the gap there uh, would be beneficial for this bad boy but it's no big deal um, it's just nice to USB CFI all of these old devices so you don't need a million old chargers floating around especially if you have a decent collection it's nice and as you can see it's already uh, charging. The console is on already. And would you look at that? She's a charging. Uh, very cool. I love these USB-C mods. Um, yeah, like I said, it's just nice to to have one uh, one cable to rule them all. USB-C is a nice platform uh, compared to older USBs like Micro. And then all the weird proprietary stuff. Uh, we don't really need that. So, very cool. Very neat. More USB-C mod videos coming soon. And again, uh, if this is something you'd want done, hit up the uh, modsvilleusa.com, the contact form. I'll have a link below. If you want to do a send-in, USB-CFI, all your old portables. Hit me up and... Uh, and bang those out for you. Anyways, thank you for watching. Modsville USA signing out. Peace.